welcome. Thanks so much for joining us here in sunny Broomfield, Colorado. My name is April and I'm a horticulturalist here at Botanical Interests and today we're going to be talking about transplanting. If you have questions or comments while we're doing the video, feel free to leave them in the comment section below the video and we'll get back to you later today. So there's a few things that you want to think about before transplanting. You want to make sure that your plants are hardened off, which means that they're acclimated to the outside conditions. And I can post uh, an article about that later today, and you'll see it in the comments. Next, you want to make sure your soil is amended, which we've already done here, and you want to make sure you're transplanting into a place with adequate sun. Most vegetables are going to need full sun, and that means six or more hours. But if you're planting an ornamental, consult the packet, and that'll give you an indication of the best space to plant it where it'll thrive. So, we're going to transplant this pepper here. We've grown it in one of our biodegradable pots. I just want to point out that as time goes on, you'll see this natural process of the paper starting to biodegrade. All totally natural. Really cool thing about these is that they actually have a perforated bottom, which is going to come in handy because we're going to plant this whole pot in the hole. So I've dug this hole three times as wide as the pot but only as deep as it currently is. You don't want to bury the stem. And by digging the hole wide, we're leaving nice loose soil for the roots to escape into. So I'm going to take away the bottom here. See those nice roots ready to get into their new home? Place the pot in the middle of the hole, and then I'm going to backfill. And if you didn't get to amend your soil, you could add some compost or fertilizer and amendment to the backfill here. That'll also work. So I'm going to bury the pot completely, but not bury the stem any deeper than it already is. And I'm tamping down the soil just to make sure we get good contact. And that guy's done. We're also going to talk about tomatoes today, which are a little different than other plants and vegetables in, in general. A really cool thing about tomatoes is they can sprout roots all the way up the stem. And we want to take advantage of that because it allows uh, the plant to get a sturdy base in the ground. And then it can also mine for more nutrients and water so it can avoid stressful situations. So what we've done here is created a trench to put the plant in. Again, I'm going to take away the bottom. We're gonna put the tomato in here, just leaving a couple sets of leaves on top. So I've laid it sideways. I'm gonna remove the extra leaves, just gently. You can do this with scissors, or they, they tomato leaves kind of snap off real easily. And then I'm gonna backfill right onto the stem. So he's kind of laying down now, looks a little funny, but in about a week, it'll right itself. So don't worry about that. Again, I've tamped down the soil so make sure there's no air pockets in there. And that's the trenching method for tomatoes. You can also do it with a deep hole. So we've dug a pretty deep hole here. And you can see there'll just be a few sets of leaves on top once I put this guy in here. Again, taking away the bottom, letting those roots escape really quickly taking off the leaves that would normally be below ground in this situation. And then again, backfilling the soil right in the hole. So after we transplant, we're gonna make sure you water the plants in right away um, so they don't experience any stress. And now's a great time actually to go ahead and stake any plants that you want because Putting the stake in now, you're going to give it less root disturbance. You won't accidentally break, break any roots. And then as the plant grows, we can tie it up to give it some more support. So after watering, that's really it. Thanks so much for joining us today. Leave those questions in the comments and we'll get back to you soon. Happy gardening!